Hi everyone, it is August 14, 2018. I hope you are all well. And the maintenance of your sanity, I really hope it's not taking you an awful lot of effort. I want to thank my subscriber for sending me this article, LA to become first in United States to install subway body scanners. It's been tested in New York City. They have these scanners up already. They can scan waves at a distance to screen passengers at a distance. They can scan people with their standoff detection units uh, over half a mile away. And so you're walking into the subway and you don't even know that you're being scanned. When I read this article, I thought, this is 5G. This is 5G. The standoff detection units that the TSA has been using since 2004. Well, I did a little bit of research. Department of Homeland Security standoff detection. Screening people for explosive threats and conventional weapons has also been a challenge away from airport style checkpoints. EXD, which is a company that developed the technology because this was this is not a recent posting on the Department of Homeland Security's website. This was years ago. Years ago. Yeah. So they developed this technology that allows the screening of people outside the constraints of those, you know, bulky conventional checkpoints. You know, where people, oh, I see that checkpoint, so I don't want to go through it. And they decide to turn around, either in their car or by foot. Okay, now they have technology. Beams that they can direct at an individual and then they can get the information from all of the individuals around that individual and if any inconsistencies are flagged you may all be detained and searched. It's the Miller meter wave. It's 5G coming. Coming to a theater near you very soon. This is 5G, guys. LA is putting up the 5G units to scan those people walking into subways and they won't even know they're being scanned. So, as everybody is, wow, I can't wait to get 5G, I'm going to be able to download faster. No, no, you're not going to be able to download any faster. They're putting this up so that they can have 24-7 high resolution surveillance. These units are going to be put all over the place. When you're walking down a street, they will be able to scan your body to make sure that you're not carrying anything they don't want you to be carrying, like a gun, like a knife, I don't know, like uh, some kind of chemical that you might have, and you might even have it, and you don't even know, you know that that's a chemical. And uh, Hell, we didn't know that sneakers and shoes could hide weapons, so now at airports you got to take them off, right? Yeah, this uh, technology can also be used to scan for chemicals, any kind of explosive. Uh, they can use this technology to scan right into your home or search your cars. You won't know that this is taking place. But if they detect anything, then you'll know because you will be detained immediately if you're on the street 
or you'll get a knock at your door from police or the FBI. This is 5G technology, standoff detection. They use the millimeter and the sub-millimeter wave. Right in the 5G bandwidth. So, with one short pulse, whether you're in your home, in your car, walking down the street, with one short pulse, they can use that pulse to interrogate a target. Interrogate a target. We're all targets. We're all considered enemies, potential enemy combatants. So they have to, you know, they have to make sure that we're safe 24 seven. This is what this technology is. This is what 5G is. So with one short pulse, they can collect all the data on that target, something in your home, something in your car, something on your person. And then it goes back to a computer and it very quickly does its analysis. And anything that is flagged, that's it. This is the world that is coming to us very, very quickly with this 5G rollout. So as I was reading these articles about this standoff detection and how they need units all over, it, they can scan up to a half a mile. That's a, that's, these millimeter waves are short. The, the distance is short. That's why they have to have them all over. That's why our former FCC chairman came out and said, the infrastructure is intensive. So, this is 1984 on steroids squared. And if you have not read 1984, then I suggest that you pick up a copy and read it. Everybody. There will be no place to hide. There will be no place to hide anything. And for all of those who... I, I'm not doing anything wrong, so I don't care. They have no clue what is taking place here. No clue. No clue. And even if they do have a clue, it's sad to see so many people just not care. All they want is faster download speed. I'll link below to everything. It's a wow, isn't it? This, this world, how rapidly it has just turned into a wow. It's a dark wow, but a wow nonetheless.